it was a big moment for some people with special needs in Johnson City. You know, the ribbon cutting of a brand new affordable housing development on Moreland Drive. The people who lived there were supposed to have cable and internet the day they moved in. But almost six months later, these mostly homebound renters are still unplugged. But that's about to change thanks to questions raised by city officials, state lawmakers, and Nate Morbido. Mm -mm. Angela Taylor is happy to be in her new home. I love it. I do love it. Good thing, because as a woman with a disability, she's here a lot. But there is one problem. These right here is the cable wire. A problem she's dealt with since move-in day. Makes me want to cry. She's bored. Really does hurt. Taylor and 11 others, mostly homebound, low-income tenants with special needs, were overlooked when it comes to getting cable and internet in their new homes. Why we have to wait six months? Why? It was never supposed to be this way. Back in May, Eastern 8 Development and its new tenants were all smiles when they cut the ribbon for Parkway Place, a development that replaced this aging eyesore. Pictures show the old building had cable wiring. The organization expected the same here. We anticipated it to, uh, to be available on day one. But for some reason, six months later, the situation remained a mystery up until last week. Even uh, Charter cannot explain to us what was going on. That's when we asked Charter Communications to clear things up. A spokesperson told us no one made the company aware of the Parkway Place project and need for cable there until construction was nearly complete. Chuck Mason says that's just not true. They were integral in the process. Regardless, while we questioned Charter on behalf of the people here, Eastern Aid asked city officials and state lawmakers to get involved. Eventually, we all received this response from Charter. The people who live here should get their cable by November 30th. We're tickled to death now. We also obtained this email sent from a Charter representative to a state senator's office, admitting the project fell through the cracks. <laughs> For someone like Angela Taylor, who already feels marginalized by society... Sad, really lift out. This is painful, but at least soon... Oh, yes. Cooking channels. <laughs> yes. She can put down her books <laughs> and start a new chapter. Nate Morabito, News Channel 11, in your corner. And we are told the crews were at the condos yesterday. They were starting the process. Those people should have their cable hooked up, hopefully, by Monday. And you bet we'll check in and find out.